This is Calvin Jones with the Park Tool Company. Uh, we're going to do a uh, little experiment on uh, this uh, frame and seat and seat post that we have. Uh, what we have is a uh, seized post uh, in our frame here, not uh, a very fancy frame. We believe it's an old bridge stone. Uh, we do have uh, the seat binder is completely loose here. Uh, step one in any such situation, check out that the binder is loose. In fact, we'll just take this off. Uh, we do have some uh, damage we can see. Uh, the seat post was attempted to be removed uh, with a lot of pulling force. Uh, in fact, you can see that the seat has been damaged. It's been forced so much. Uh, just trying to twist it, twist it free has damaged the uh, the, the seat here, so that uh, that's trash. If we do pull on it, I think you can see what's what's happened. It first looks like, oh, we, we can twist it. Well, we cannot. We have come free here. Our, uh, our uh, seat post here, has, uh, the lug at the top is freed uh, from the post, so we're not getting any good action there. Um, so uh, we need to do other measures. And we're going to try some uh, drastic measures here. We're going to attempt to use ammonia. And uh, you'll hear this said that this frees up uh, metal. So we're going to go ahead and give this, uh, give this a try. Let it sit overnight and see, uh, see what we can do. Uh, this is a dangerous chemical. Uh, this is not uh, something to do inside or do it lightly, ammonia, very, very strong stuff. Uh, so uh, we will work uh, with care when, uh, uh, when using this material and we'll see if it does us any, any good. So one of the first steps here is to get some more room to work with. We're actually gonna, we're gonna remove the, uh, the seat. Let's go ahead and just pull off the, the saddle entirely and, and just get it out of our way. There we go. Uh, so we will not be able to grab here. We'll have to grab here in some uh, jaws of a large vise. Uh, we're going to go ahead and flip it upside down and discuss what we're going to do. We're going to uh, take a funnel and uh, tilt the bike, attempt to pour uh, ammonia down the funnel here. Uh, we're going to tape up some holes to encourage our liquid to go straight down the tube here. We want to uh, fill up this cavity here. Now this post, if we tap, we can tap along and we're guessing right about here, right about here is our, we're estimating the length of our seat post, that would make sense. We need to fill uh, all the way up beyond this point uh, to make sure that we're uh, getting enough fluid and attacking the bonding that we're worried about. So in fact, what we're going to do is fill up until we get some fluid coming out of the, uh, the hole here for our water bottle uh, mount. Because this is twisting at the bottom, we're also going to seal that up uh, I, we don't know if we'll lose fluid out of that, but let's let's take no chances with this experiment. We'll cut a good piece of duct tape here, and hopefully that will help seal and keep our liquid in place and uh, attacking the bond that we uh, we would like it to do. Phase two of the uh, chemistry experiment. Uh, we have stepped outside on a uh, lovely spring day uh, here at the uh, Six Long Lake Road in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, trees are budding, looking very, very much like spring. Uh, so we will uh, be outside for the good ventilation uh, and uh, we'll try and pour our ammonia in so we are not spilling and um, that can always happen so we're, we're outside. And, in that case, we're going to don some uh, protective gloves here. We've taped the bottom bracket, leaving just the hole that we're trying to get it 
to go down. Again, we're going to try and fill enough ammonia here to come up past where we suspect the post is. Uh, probably just a little bit dribbling out there. So, first what we're going to actually do is loosen the clamp a little bit, rotate, and then uh, secure again. The reason we're doing this is to give it a little tilt. There we go. Maybe a little more tilt. That lets us pour. Oh, I think that's going to work pretty well. Let's pour down that hole nice and easy and uh, fill up the seat tube here with some ammonia and we'll, we're going to let this sit over, overnight. Whoa! Nice and slow. We don't want to see any coming out the other side there. There we are. Starting to fill up uh, nicely. We do have an issue though here. We better check our small drip. We do have a drip, I believe, coming out of our, our tape here. So we do have a, a, a problem with our seal here. So we're going to have to fix that. But let's, let's continue on with a little, more, a little more fluid up the top. Okay, we can just see a little fluid now right at that hole, so I think we have plenty, uh, plenty of ammonia inside the tube. We're filled up at least to this far, so I think we'll stop, stop with that right there, and uh, come back here and let's go get some more tape and, and seal up, seal up right here so that we're not uh, we're not dribbling out. And we'll give this a good rest tonight and then see, uh, see what happens tomorrow. It is the uh, next day. We have soaked overnight. Uh, we have uh, done the uh, ammonia fluid here. Uh, let it sit overnight. So hopefully we have had as much, as much penetration as we're going to get. Uh, so we're going to be using the, uh, the vise here. We're back in the factory here at, at Park Tool. We have assembly going on. We have uh, the TM1 tension meters are being calibrated. But we're here with Max Wunderlich, our engineer, one of our engineers. And uh, Max and I are gonna show you, uh, uh, we hope, how to remove this. Uh, this could fail, this could fail here. And then we're on to uh, a little bit of surgery. So first we're gonna attempt to re to remove the post. So, step one, a good solid uh, uh, vise bolted down. Let's take our frame there, Max. We're gonna put it right in our jaws here. We're gonna crank this thing down tight. Tight, very tight. There's gonna be twisting going on and we don't wanna ruin our, our frame. Uh, so Max is going to install our, our rear hub. This is going to secure the stays together, make that a unit. And why are there two of us here? Because we're going to try and twist one, we're going to first twist and then one person can start to pull upward with force, uh, the vector going upward, the other vector moving along the axis of our, of our post. So let's first try a little twist and shout here. Let's go back and forth. Now, it's not feeling so good <laughs> on that first one. Let's give it a little bit of a go. Ooh. That is. It appears oh, we got nothing to lose here, do we? No. Okay, one more nice and easy go. You got your end? Okay, let's go the same. Ooh. We are getting absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, this is a sample of one, but we can say now that the ammonia, ammonia treatment, a complete failure. Do you concur? As they say on Mythbusters, it's busted. It's busted. <laughs> well, we're going to uh, take a break and then we'll proceed with what we call the chop option.